And here we are again, step by step, motion by motion, mm -hmm. script by script in this scripted world that we live in, in this modern day of technology and communication. Yeah. But I have been an observer, a witness for many years as my observations and listening to the fervor that is out there of the public. The public is awakening. It's a little on the slow side, but it, it is awakening to <laughs> this madness and and this corruption and the blame game and all these things that are going on and nothing's actually getting fixed because it's still in motion going the same direction no matter what side says what at the top it's still the same game it's still going on it's still in that same direction it's still happening there isn't an agenda and that agenda is not getting disturbed one bit they are fulfilling it as fast as they can and as quick as they can so Again, back to my observations of many things that I have been watching, opposed to this now, what I was saying about the people, 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 and human beings. There is a difference. There are many people on earth, but very few human beings left. And from what I've been listening to and all the other things that's been happening around here, a lot of people are starting to see things that they're just not right. Uh, in the scope of things, they're not behaving as they should be, normally or not. A conservative isn't a conservative, and a, a liberal isn't a liberal anymore, and uh, a man isn't a man anymore, and a woman isn't a woman anymore, I mean, and so on. So, and, and these things are... Uh, or for good reason sometimes, because nature has a way of uh, correcting things when they get out of balance. And we're a part of that balance within nature because we do live on planet Earth. And pretty much we're the caretakers of, of this, this planet. So we can survive. And the planet can survive if we're not disrupting it and abusing it. But she has been here long before we ever got here and arrived at this place. And that's a fact. And she will defend herself, and many will perish in that process. And, you know, <clears throat> that's one of the things that we're not taking heed at. You know, they talk about a lot of things, but, you know nuclear weapons and all this stuff that they're actually doing but blaming us. I mean, I grew up in a generation where we were just naturally green because we reused stuff. I mean, the diaper man came and, and the diapers went out and they got sanitized, cleaned, and they came back. There was no diaper going into the landfill. Uh, our sodas deposits they would refill them uh same with the milk that was brought to your house and left on the porch in the morning and they would pick the bottles up and pretty much we were self-sufficient in the many ways it was business that created more profit by using different products there's your pitfalls and ups and downs to everything but we're getting blamed for their actions, and that's an insanity. So, many of you have been talking in tongues, and you don't really realize it. It's, it's not in the language that it's spoken, it's the message that's being conveyed. And we must focus on the present, which is our gift, and not allow the future don't worry about it. It'll take care of itself. I mean, I'm not saying don't have no plans and worrying about it, worrying. 
daily, constantly, like some kind of fear mechanism. Don't let this bother you. Things will take care of us safe every day like it did yesterday that got you here today. And by worrying, it will only rob you of your soul and mind, and you will never have a peace of mind. Ever, ever have a peace of mind. And that's what these people are doing and is getting in our heads and disturbing our peace of mind. It's actually like a terrorist uh, move, if you really think about it, because they're bombarding you every day with this information. I mean, it's repeated, repetitive, and it's continuous, and it just disturbs the shit out of you. Then it makes you want to just... That's why you get mad at people and all kinds of shit, and that's no shit, because they're just agitating the shit out of you. I mean, it, it, we've been ensnared to this shit since we were birthed. I mean, ba 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 ba, and it's the very people we're listening to. We should probably start turning them damn TVs off and stop listening to these freaking lunatics that keeping us all agitated over a bunch of shit. To make themselves feel worthy and like they're really doing something for us. <laughs> yeah, they're doing something for us. Yeah, these charlatans, all of them. All of them. All of them are charlatans. Just figure it like that. They're all actors on a stage wearing their costumes, their suits, whatever you want to call it. And their fine jewelry and expensive dresses. And yeah... Guys don't get it, do you? I mean, they're fucking laughing at us. Literally. I mean, absolutely, fucking lutely literally And you think that they're up there fucking gonna help you? They're fucking gonna help themselves. And I think you guys should brighten the hell up and see what the hell's really going on. Because that's really the reality of it. Absolutely the real reality of it. But peace, you know, peace, peace, peace. Stop beating the machine, man. That's what it's going to, as soon as you put the fire out, man, and the smoke clears, we can start cleaning up and get back to business, man. As long as we feed these bastards, this insanity is never going to stop. And I mean it, wars and everything. The very people we support, we fucking fight over, raw over. They're the problem. They are the very problem. Because they are the ones that are doing this stuff and conning us into getting involved in all this. We're not actually doing it. They are. Remember that. When your kid goes to war and he dies, don't blame the bad guys. They're not bad guys. The only bad guys are the ones at the top on both sides. And we're idiots for fucking listening and doing it for them. Quit carrying the stone for them. Matter of fact, make them go out there and let them spew their lives on the ground for what they think they're so freaking worthy. Stop this insanity. This is childish. This is worse than childish. I don't think a child would even be this insane to follow this kind of construct. That's why our children are so disturbed. Because naturally, before we can crush their little natural little minds and everything and turn them into an adult and obey this scheme of things. I'm sure all of you, as you've grown, you just absolutely look around here and you go, something just ain't right. And we act like it's some kind of uh, mystery, why it just phenomenon, it never changes, and we just accept it for what it is. And yeah. Really. It's a sad thing that we just suck it up. And I'm not saying run out and go get violent or get crazy and do something stupid. I just think complying with these and consenting with what these jackasses want is just feeding this whole insane, disgusting, manipulated, very criminal, formatted, criminal 
minded injustice system that feeds on the people directly on its own host. It's become a parasite of epic proportions and it's become highly, highly dangerous people. Peace until next time.